Welcome to the second video of this series on how to perform supervised classification using Erdis Imagine. In this video we will cover the steps involved in the signature evaluation phase of the supervised classification process. Once signatures have been created, they can be evaluated, deleted, renamed and merged. In Erdis Imagine, the analyst can evaluate signatures using any of the following methods. Alarm, statistics and histograms, ellipse, contingency matrix, divergence or separability. We will use the contingency matrix method for this demonstration. This method is used to evaluate signatures that have been created from areas of interest or AOIs in the image known as parametric signatures. The contingency matrix method classifies only the pixels in the image AOI training samples based on the signatures. It is usually expected that the pixels of an AOI would be classified to the class that they train. However, the pixels of the AOI training samples only measure the statistics of the signature. They are rarely so homogeneous that every pixel becomes assigned to the expected class. Let's begin. Open the image to be classified in the viewer and open the signature editor dialog from the supervised classification menu if they are not already opened. We will open the signature file created earlier to begin the evaluation process. In the signature editor, the analyst selects the signatures they wish to evaluate. Note that the contingency matrix can be used with multiple signatures. If you do not have any signatures selected, then by default all the signatures will be used. In the signature editor menu bar, click evaluate then contingency. If you have any non-parametric signatures, set the non-parametric rule to feature space from the contingency matrix dialog. In this case, we did not define any non-parametric signatures. Otis Imagine provides these commonly used decision rules for parametric signatures. Minimum distance, Mahalanobis distance, maximum likelihood, spectral angle mapper, spectral correlation mapper. Set the decision rule for parametric signatures to maximum likelihood which will classify the image pixels based on the probability that the pixel belongs to a particular class. Check the Use Probabilities checkbox to use the probabilities assigned to the signature. This option is only available with the Maximum Likelihood Parametric Rule. Click on the Pixel Percentages checkbox to report in the matrix the percentage of pixels that were assigned to each class. Click OK in the Contingency Matrix dialog to start the process. After a few moments, the Error Matrix report opens in the text editor. The output of contingency matrix is an error matrix of pixel counts or pixel percentages where you can see how many pixels in each AOI training sample were assigned to each class. In theory, each AOI training sample would be composed primarily of pixels that belong to its corresponding signature class. Review the error matrix report. Notice that the natural woodland signature returns 99.61% of the pixels in its AOI with the other 0.27% being classified as either shrublands or agricultural land. Notice also that the agricultural signature retains 97.90% of its pixels with the other 1.94% being classified as grassland. After reviewing the matrix, the analyst can save it for use in other external reports accompanying the classification project. Close the report. Deselect the signatures that were selected by right-clicking in class column and clicking select none. Experiment with the other decision rules and see if you can come to the same conclusion. Erdis Imagine also allows the analyst to analyze the statistics for the layers to make their own evaluations and comparisons. Note that the statistics can be generated for one signature at a time. In Signature Editor, click on the Set Active field of one of the signatures of interest. From the Signature Editor menu bar, select View, then Statistics, or click the Summation icon. The univariate cell array reports on the minimum, maximum, mean and standard deviation of the active class in each layer. The covariance cell array report shows the n by n covariance matrix containing all the variances and covariances within n bands of data. Review the information in the statistics dialog and then close it. You can also export these statistical reports as CSV files for further analysis in programs such as Microsoft Excel. Save the signatures and close the signature editor. That's it for this phase on evaluating signatures for supervised classification in Erdis Imagine. In our next video, we will go through processing of the supervised classification phase. Remember to subscribe to our channel and hit on the bell icon to get automatic notifications every time we upload a new video to our channel or to this series.